welcome to the another simple cinema 4d tutorial here i'm using cinema for the r16 but it can work with anyone so today what we're gonna learn let's have a preview of that okay where is it okay this is all right today we're gonna learn how to break any object like this Wanna see that again? Okay, let's let me play with this and how this diamond like shape is breaking apart. So it's very simple tutorial. Let's get started. It can work with any 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 object. Let me first put my icon to the medium icon. Okay, now let me drop a sphere. Put the sphere. Sphere is fine. Now, if we put to the explosion FX underneath this sphere, in order to break any object, you have to put the explosion behind that. In a real life, the same thing happens. Okay. Now, in the explosion settings, you can put the strength to a 500 if you want the impact to remain within a particular limits. But if you want it to scatter way too long, then you can increase the strength to 2000 or anything. That's simply the your experiment. Experiment with it, and I am gonna stick with 1000. Okay, decay is how many uh, what the shape would look like. You want it to decay in zero after the explosion what kind of a shape you want to be present of your original primitive sphere object okay variation if you want this to be variation i put it to normally 100 if you want this into a particular direction like only in x then it will explode only in the x direction okay if you want to do y it will y explode in y only z then it will z but probably i like to put it on all okay you can again put the variations then it will scatter everywhere all right it will not explode uh, uniformly it will explode randomly you can increase the blast speed okay more speed it would be then it will fastly explode okay so on the dk again the same thing you want the dk in any variations into that now come to the cluster cluster is the thickness of your exploded materials how much thickness you want into them like this if you increase that you can see that okay all right look 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 at this okay variation you want that to be variation under percent density again the same thing automatic a yeah, minimum poly polygons that how much polygons you want to be present in your exploding materials that makes it very interesting and realistic to the life okay then gravity how much gravity you want zero gravity then it will explode in the air if you increase the acceleration of the gravity then it will fall down all the pieces okay and uh, directions which direction you want the particulars to go mostly it's y or minus y world okay you can put it anywhere that's all experimentation okay then rotation if you want your materials exploding materials to rotate a little bit then you can increase the speed dk and uh, variations under and then it will have a random explosion effect okay this uh, if you want some wind into your explosion like it will blow it away okay that's all it is First, most probably i'll keep it to zero twist if you want any twist into that then it will create a twist into your explosion materials okay 
okay if we want to see the preview let's render it and see this is what we have got okay again uh, this is very important this is the uh, uh, control of, of the explosion how it's gonna control the explosion and this way you can animate the explosion go to coordinates okay like this and uh, put it to zero frame and select this P and it will select all the X Y Z position control click okay and then move it to the anywhere you want like 70 okay then grab this and just move way beyond the screen and again control click okay and if we put the go back to first frame and play our explosion animation is started okay let's see a render view review of this this is the render preview we have got out of this okay if you want any any of the color let's create a new material for this by double clicking in this material window click it open it let's open it okay let's give it a white color go to transparency I'm gonna put the transparency around 1.7 or 8 make it say glass like okay and uh, increase the brightness a little bit oh my computer is so slow because I have opened I'm recording this okay and uh, that's why it's very difficult to have the real life preview of this but anyway okay this is the preview okay uh, brightness and this that okay and let's put this into the sphere okay and if we now render it it will have it a glass like effect so it's not the fully transparent it will gonna it's gonna take your uh, lots of render time but the end result would be really good so i'll come back when it is done okay all right let's say it's still rendering but it is not turning out to be the way we wanted so i'm gonna stop it in between and make some editing into the material i just double clicking it and put this to 100 okay it's not turning out to be the real glass the way we want it now i think we'll put the brightness to 100 it will turn out to be a real glass okay all right uh, just close it and uh, Let's make a background for simple background. Uh, I've already saved my background in order to save the time. I'll make the another tutorial for how to make a seamless background. Okay, these are my materials presets which I have saved. Okay, it's not opening. What's wrong? Where is it? Mm -hmm. All right. Where is it? It's so slow. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's in. Mm, no, 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 no. It's I think it's in the materials and okay background composite. I was just double clicking it. And it has loaded into my project and if now i render it you will see that i have a seamless background plus my explosion material are looking like real glass yeah, they have reflections also okay i'll just come back when it is done okay all right welcome back now it's rendering is complete and now you can see 
that how lovely they are looking it's like glass which is being exploded so it was a simple tutorial please subscribe to my channel for more tutorials